Ditto is a very interesting Pokemon. This Pokemon is defined by its ability Imposter, which upon switching transforms Ditto into the enemy Pokemon instantly. The transformed Pokemon isn't exactly the same though. Ditto will copy every single stat from the enemy, except for HP in its transformed state. Instead it will use its own 48 base HP which is very low, lower than most Pokemon in the game. So the transformed version of the enemy will be much weaker. All of the moves that Ditto copies will also only have 5 PP. But one great advantage to Ditto, and probably the most common application of it, is that it will copy the enemy's stat changes when it transforms. This makes Ditto an effective form of counterplay against boost sweepers. If you equip Ditto with a choice scarf, you'll be able to switch it in against a boosted up enemy, copy all of their boosts, and outspeed them thanks to your choice scarf. Ditto will discourage the enemy from boosting up, because if they do, Ditto can come in and steal their boost sweeper, counter sweeping the enemy with their own Pokemon. So far in Gen 9 OU, I have not seen very many Dittos, despite all the great boost sweepers it can take advantage of. But this team on the Smogon forums really caught my eye. This team uses a Ditto for more than just counterplay against boost sweepers, and the player VNMMV managed to achieve a rating of 1919 with it, which was number 24 on the rankings. Pretty impressive. This team is using Ditto to cover multiple popular matchups in the metagame, and it is a response to a lot of current trends. Sticky web offense is very popular in Gen 9 at the moment, so if you're up against that matchup, you can actually transform into their sticky web setter and set sticky web alongside them. If both players have sticky web on the field, it's basically a neutral situation. But even if they happen to also have hazard removal on their team and find an opportunity to rapid spin or defog, removing the webs that you set, Ditto itself can actually bypass the sticky web speed drop and punish their offensive threats. When Ditto first switches in, it will receive the sticky web speed drop in its original Ditto form. Then it transforms into the enemy, copying their stat changes, no longer suffering from the speed drop. And since you copy their boosts and outright them with your choice scarf, this is an amazing form of counterplay against hyper-offensive sticky web teams. Ditto can also help out against Aurora Veil vale offense teams that use Alolan Ninetales. You can transform into their Alolan Ninetales and use Aurora Veil vale for yourself, evening the playing field. Ditto even helps out against stall matchups. What's nice about Ditto is that in a way, it has infinite PP. When you transform into an enemy, you become a copy of them with only 5 maximum PP on all of the same moves. But if you use a bunch of moves, then switch out and back in, your max PP will be reset back to 5. In stall matchups, this can be really good. While the opponent's recovery moves only have 8 PP for the entire game, you can steal their healing moves, use them up to 5 times, and then switch out, back in, and get that 5 PP back. If you get your Ditto knocked off on purpose, since Ditto doesn't actually need its choice scuff in this matchup, you can freely use all the high value defensive moves that you want, and you can even steal all of their utility moves like knock off and defog to use for yourself. Ditto is a pretty smart choice in the current Gen 9 OU metagame that not only covers multiple common matchups and helps out in those crucial interactions, but just generally gets a lot of value in a metagame full of powerful boost sweepers. In the majority of games, Ditto will find a way to be useful. Ditto does have its shortcomings though. This Pokemon is not very effective at answering Roaring Moon. Ditto is unable to copy stat boosts that come from booster energy, and it also won't do very much damage with acrobatics, since it has a choice scarf equipped. So even though you outrun them, it's hard to actually eliminate them with your weak acrobatics, while they can eliminate you pretty easily. Ditto is also unable to transform into Ogapon Wellspring after it terastalizes. Since Ogapon changes into a special form when it terrors, Ditto's imposter won't work. Despite these drawbacks, I think Ditto will still be able to get a lot done. Let's try this team out and see if Ditto really is an effective response to the current metagame. Like this video and subscribe to ensure that Iron Mugulus doesn't get involved in any more funny business. Thank you. Well gaming folks, I'm up against what might be an ideal ditto situation. We've got Poltygeist who's going to shell smash. I can copy that shell smash and click Shadow Ball and defeat everything on team except Mousehold, of course. Mousehold is going to cause some problems. Let's do Sneasler. Let's do a simple Sneasler. We've got protective pads on this Sneasler to not get owned by, you know, Flame Body, Static, Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin, etc. I like it. I think that's pretty intelligent, to be honest. Well done to the builder. We're going to U-turn out for large damage. And in comes Hat. And you've ejected to what I can only imagine will 
shortly be Poltergeist. And if you Shell Smash, you might be in incredibly dire straits. What if I U-turn, activate Weak Armor, and then go to Ditto and copy the speed and then defeat you? Does Weak Armor lower your special defense as well, or is it only um, physical defense? Only physical defense. All right. Do I need this Sneasler that badly? I'm wondering how important this Sneasler is to my prospects. I'll just die a claw this, I think. We'll activate Weak Armor here. Expanding Force. Don't mind if I do. Expanding Force will KO this, I feel like. I have a feeling that Expanding Force will do the job. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I think Expanding Force is going to do the trick right here. This guy can endure. I hope it doesn't have like Salak Berry. That would be random. Now I have the Expanding Force. Isn't this funny? Isn't this something? <laughs> I'm outrunning everything. How to read? Oh, you do times four resist this. That's as true as it gets. You're going to probably nuzzle, aren't you? Let's go Garg. It is nuzzle. I'm immune to that. We're going to do Assault Cure. You're going to dazzle me. Dazzle me once, shame on me. What do I do? Uh, maybe it's a Manaphy moment? I think we do. We could do Manaphy take heart. That's that's smart. Let's do that. What are you going to do? Dazzling Gleam for, for little damage? What are you going to nuzzle and then I, I simply heal it off with my take heart? Don't, didn't think so. In comes Mouse Hold. I could be in trouble. I could be in big trouble. But I'm just going to scold you. Population bomb. Are we going to sit through this animation? For the viewers at home, I won't skip the animation. Let's see each all 10 hits of this. Fill up my screen and then we will scald the mouse hold. We didn't burn. That's all right. That's okay. I think we're going to be all right. I think everything's going to be fine as I scald once more. What if we transform into mouse hold? You can go Poltygeist on the you know what. I mean, Garg is taking nothing from Population Bomb, to be honest. Let's... I want to body press almost. Let's body press. I think you're going to do it again. Yeah, I didn't think you would. If I salt cured, I would be in trouble potentially. Here's indeed. Let's use recover. That'll allow us to live in coming situations. I could use terror ghost to defeat Sneasler. Psychic is not going to KO. It's going to drop me though. So i got to exit. We can go to uh, Cresselia. Cresselia is going to have a good time. Encore. Nice one. Nice encore. I can't mind it up. You do have weak armor and such things, but... What if I were to say that I don't care about that? I have such bulk. What if I simply... You know what? We'll store power once and then I want to do it. I want to do the... I want to become you. Let's sacrifice Zapdos. What's Zapdos doing for me? Shell smash again for me. I'm going to click roost. I want to become the Poltergeist and do do the... I want to do the funny thing. I want to show the world that it... Well, at least I forced you out. If I forced you out, then what could be said? Is this a Sneasler answer? No. No way. I Thunderbolt you. I really wanted to do it. I really wanted to become the Poltergeist, but it's not been allowed. But honestly, Ditto in the back is making you switch out. In a way, Ditto is winning me this. Ditto is preventing you from ever, from ever doing your move. That's the thing. In comes indeed. The, the problem is Sneasler, of course. That's the that's the issue here. I roost. Are you gonna healing wish to to Sneasler? It's possible. But can you win? Is the thing. I don't know if you can even win this. Our oh, Cresselia can live it. Cresselia lives this. What are you gonna do? Close combat. Fire punch. You've been static parried. And guess what I can do? I can freaking become Ditto. <laughs> you didn't let me do it for my video. I needed to go to Ditto. You... Let's imagine I go to Ditto and copy this Sneasler and click click the move and win the game. Can we imagine that? My opponent is an absolute killjoy and didn't let it happen. Ditto did not technically win the game, but my opponent forfeited before it could happen, so. This one counts, folks. Ditto has dissuaded my opponent from shell smashing and winning. Forced it out. He knew that if I if he KO'd my Zapdos, I would simply go Ditto and win the game. I consider Ditto to be epic. And this is proof. This is objective proof. You can't say otherwise. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the patrons for your continued support. And thank you as well to everyone who has donated to the prize pool for this tournament. Oh,